Youngstown, Ohio woman has been arrested after she allegedly cut a woman off in traffic, dragged her from a car, and beat her with a hammer in front of the children, and later bragged about it on Facebook. The incident occurred in the Mahoning County at around 12.50pm on the 14th of August, as the mother was driving with the five-year-old twins in the car. Another vehicle pulled out in front of her, driven by 27-year-old Jamala Chapman. She cut her off and forced her to stop. Jamela then got out of the car and ran to the victim's vehicle. She pulled her out and began punching her and hitting her with a hammer. A female passenger in Jamela's car went to the back of the victim's car and tried taking the children out. The passenger later told the authorities that she was trying to get the children out of harm's way. After Jamela had finished beating a victim, she took the woman's keys before fleeing the scene. The deputies who responded to the scene learned that Jamela had made a Facebook Live video bragging that she took the victim's keys. A woman who was nearby and checking on the victim showed police Jamela's Facebook page where she made a video threatening the victim. The victim had cuts on her arm and on her scalp but declined medical assistance. Officers later arrested Jamela at her home where they found a hammer but no keys. The victim, identified as Autumn Hines, was friends with Jamela but things went south after she asked her to leave her home that she had rented for four years from the YMCA after her friend was not listed on the lease. Hines says she suffers from constant headaches since the attack and she didn't realise how bad her injuries were at the time because of the adrenaline rush. Jamela has been charged with aggravated robbery and felonious assault and is held at the Mahoning County Jail on a $19,000 bond. 34-year-old Lindsay Leonardo pleaded guilty on the 12th of August 2021 to reckless homicide and child endangerment after her infant son died after having a bath while she went outside to relax. The incident occurred on the 8th of January 2020 at around 8pm at a home in Knoxville, Tennessee. Her 11-month-old son Aidan Leonardo was found unresponsive at her home after having a bath with about 4-6 to six inches of water in it with her 2-year-old sister. Lindsay explained to the investigators that she wanted some me time while the kids were in the tub so she could go outside to smoke a cigarette and listen to some music on her phone for about 10 minutes. During this time, the older sister allegedly turned the water on. When Lindsay returned to the bathroom, she found the bathtub brimming with water and Aiden floating face up with her older sister standing. Lindsay called 911 and was instructed on how to perform CPR. Aiden was taken to the Tenova Turkey Creek Medical Center and regained a heartbeat. He was then transported to the East Tennessee Children's Hospital, where he later died the following night at 9.30pm. Despite having a troubled relationship with the estranged child's father, David Dillingham, he defended Lindsay and said she's a loving mother. She will now serve the next four years in prison.